Tonka 90 plus 10 bison and uh, what happened was that uh, I ordered it and I got the wrong one sent it came very quickly no doubt about that but they sent me the 55 plus 10 um, I called them I said hey you sent me the wrong one they said oh gosh sorry very apologetic they were very nice about it i spoke to kel so i'm assuming a girl so i'm assuming her name is kelly and um and what happened was they said uh look um wrap it up wrap it back up stick it in the post send it to us and we'll get the right one out to you as soon as possible and we'll re reimburse you the postage for sending it back which they did and it came very quickly indeed so yeah um so pardon me that was um the the store that i got it from is called the hunt shop i think they're in albury in uh in which is in new south wales yeah because wodonga's in victoria it's right on the border of new south wales and victoria um yeah so it's called the hunt shop um and they were great like you know they've really taken care of me they've done the right thing it's probably one of their most expensive more expensive packs that they sell so or that anyone sells so they are not cheap it is the Tatonka, another Tatonka. so yeah and oh this thing is really 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 versatile it's got oh man i'll do it I'll do a proper review of it, um, probably when I use it, and I'll take it out in the field, and I'll, you know, I'll take everything out and show you what I'm carrying, and blah blah blah, um, because uh, oh, it's it's just so big. It is a big pack. I have to tell you, it's a big pack. But you know, it's, yeah, it's a big pack, but you don't have to carry, you know, tons in it. Um, hope you can see me over that thing. Um, yeah, it's it's got oh man, you know like yeah, it's so versatile. You can like I've added I've added a couple of um, accessories pouches to it, um, so you can add. I know it's Tonka have got their own. I'm pretty sure it's Tonka have got their own pouches and things that you can buy to add to it and whatnot. But um, man, this thing is just so versatile. Let's hang on. I twisted that. Oh no. Um, it's. Yeah, I, I definitely reckon, like, it's so well made, you know, which you would expect, but it is, it is tough as, I can see why the Kiwis love this thing, or the, the Tatonka brand, um, it's, yeah, oh man, it's, oh, I've sort of filled it up with, probably overfilled it, with crap that I probably wouldn't take anyway, but I've just, you know, gone berserk. Um, it's got a bottom compartment. Oh, uh, you know, classic packs. And, uh, the key for it? Oh, yeah, I see. And it's got, um, it's got Velcro straps and so you can... Velcro straps and keepers everywhere so that, you know, your straps aren't just flailing around all over the place, although that one is. Um, it's really, really well designed and well thought out. Um, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's hard to say anything bad about it. Again, I can't say anything bad about it. It's got, it's got, uh, so it's got a bottom compartment. It's got two, two buckets on the sides, which are elastic. Um, it's got, then it's got two pockets by the side. And, uh, which unzip. And then, yeah, it's got the top that comes over, and oh man, you know this thing's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a beauty. 
Um, the only thing that I haven't figured out, because I've got the rifle scabbard with it, which just holds the butt of the rifle. Um, the only thing I can't figure out is where to put it. Uh, like really, uh, probably strap it on one of the side cinching straps and just have the, the rest of the rifle going through the, the upper cinching strap. I'm just, that's what I assume is how it goes because I can't see anywhere else for it to go. Uh, but it just, uh, like that. Right. Yeah, so you'd have it, you'd just have it hanging off that side cinching strap and then the, the, the barrel going through there. Another cinching strap. It's about the only way you could do it. Uh, um, it's, yeah, and you can actually, one thing that you can do, it's just so versatile. One thing that you can do is you could just use it as a, a normal pack, but you can also, yeah, if I undo that, uh, you can also just unzip the whole main compartment and get in there as well from, from the back instead of going in from the top. So it's, it's just so, yeah, it, it's probably the most versatile pack I've ever seen. I've not, I've not seen, and the zips are really, the A number one YKK zips, they are so smooth. They're like, yeah, a lot of butter. You know, they are really, really good zips. I have to say. Man, this thing's got more. Yeah, it is so versatile. I'm probably out of the picture, but you know, it is. <coughs> it is. Seriously, it's probably. It is. It is. This is the best pack I've ever seen. Just the versatility of it. No doubt about it. It is the best pack I've ever seen. Yep. Yeah, it's fantastic. I can't wait to use it. I'm not going to be able to use it until after I come back. After I come back from work. Yeah, so it's a beauty. It really is. Oh, it's so well made. No doubt about it. Tatonka. Any. Yeah. You can tell quality, you know, and this thing is really quality. It's fantastic. There's a top, top compartment flap thing that comes over the top, and on the inside, it's got a special compartment that says first aid. So you know, I've got my first aid kit in there. I like to carry a big one, and um, yeah, it's you know, can't say enough about it. So um, yeah. Um, I just got to get a, a little list. I'll be back in a sec. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, oh, first off, I'm I'm having a beer because I've just come back from having a fish. Sure enough, halfway to, to fishing, uh, halfway there, I realised I forgot my camera, and then I thought, uh, bugger it, I'm probably not going to catch anything anyway because it's really cold, and uh, I didn't even bother taking my phone. I left that in the car, and sure enough, I caught a barra, and he was a bit of a he was a bit of a uh, an acrobatics expert and never got to film it. And it doesn't matter because um, yeah, who cares? Um, Oettinger, German, original Oettinger German pills, Pilsner. So what's that change? Yeah, that's German beer. So um, I'll get this out of the way so I can speak to you on a more personal level. One of the nice things, I'll tell you what, this thing has got handles everywhere. But like really, if you want to pick it up like that, you just pick it up by the, by the hip belt and by this handle. If you've got it upside down, or on its, on its belly, uh, there's a handle there and there's a handle there. So you can just, but yeah, it's got, don't knock that glass over. Really just so versatile. It's quite amazing. Yeah, it's really, really well designed, really, really, really well thought out. 
And uh, now, so I've got a couple of compasses. Um, I've got a good silver, and I also got a good Sunto because I like to always have a backup. And I bet ages ago I got one of those stupid things, but um, in an emergency, it's better than nothing. So, what I really want to discuss, I just that's some more because I've got a bit dehydrated when I was fishing. Now, regarding my uh, low carb diet or the uh, ultra low carb diet, <coughs> I weighed myself this morning and I was another half kilo lighter. Um, I think my body's sort of struggling to burn any more fat because there's, there's really not a whole lot more fat there. I've still got a bit of a gut, but that's just, I've got to, got to do some um, abdominal exercises just to tighten that up. But it's really like, when I pinch it, it's just, oh man, it's not, the pinch test, there's not much, it's not much fat there at all. And obviously the fat around my organs is, is burnt off, you know, because that's, uh, that's 13 and a half kilos um, in less than three weeks. Mm, pretty good. So... Some of the really, really good things that I've noticed about um, over the period that I've been doing this this uh, ultra low carb diet, and obviously number one is like serious weight loss in a hurry, in quickly, you know, no, <laughs> like yeah, Th thirteen and a half kilos in less than three weeks. Hey, that's serious. That is, yeah. Um, one other really, really nice thing is I no longer dread going to the toilet. <laughs> because I used to dread going to the toilet. Obviously my colon was just, uh, it was in a, uh, I don't even want to, yeah, I'm sorry colon. Yeah. It's a wonder it didn't come up through my throat and strangle me. Um, so, because a serious reduction in toilet paper use, like, yeah. Unreal, unreal. My bowel movements now are just, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I, I'd, I'd go to the toilet and I didn't know what to expect, you know, whether to expect diarrhea or, or constipation or any of the, any of the above. And um, it was always a mess and I would, I would never be able to, expel everything and I'd have to go back again half an hour later and maybe again you know two three times to keep wiping my butt you know oh man it was a nightmare and that's gone on for a very 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 long time and this is just such such a drastic change that it's it's I'm, yeah you feel a lot happier you know the other thing is skin my skin. After, typically, after I'd have a shower, I would, I would have dry skin flaking off. Right? Um, n not anymore. But that's not happening anymore. My skin is cleared up. The other thing that I used to get, well, I used to get a, a really bad rash under the chin, right there, right around there, and it just, uh, it was, it was like. It, it was essentially psoriasis because it was just peeling off and psoriasis is when your skin is growing like seven times quicker than it's supposed to. So it just grows and peels, grows and peels and doesn't get a chance to actually be skin. Um, so it was the type of, it was some sort of psoriasis, but um, I don't have that anymore. That's gone. Because like I was at the barber, I get my hair cut at the barber, like just number three all over. And uh, I said to him, what's go there? What do you reckon it is? And he said, oh, you know, blah, 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 use this cream. And I was like, yeah, no fucking idea. Pardon my French. Um, now, what's the other thing? No bloating or gas. Oh, man, I didn't, you know, there were times when, I didn't know, yeah. There's nothing worse than just being really bloated with gas. You know, and needing to fart, and you're on an aeroplane, and all, you know, just, yeah, or you can't fart, you know, or you, you hold it in, 
because you don't want to be embarrassed. And then later on, you try and fuck your car. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. If you've been there, uh, sleep. That's the other thing. I get proper sleep now. It's a much more stable sleep. Yeah, I might wake up once, but uh, it's straight back to sleep. Before, oh, man, I'd wake up, you know, just be fully awake and couldn't get... And I'd wake up like half a, do half a dozen times through the night, typically. So I never got a decent night's sleep. I ne my body never really, really recuperated. Um, the other thing is, um, I used to be sort of... Typically, I used to be congested a fair bit. And that's gone. Also, um, indigestion, reflux. You know, I would be like, if I if I drank, oh, damn fly. Um, if I drank, you know, like I don't know, two three beers, I, I would start getting indigestion. Um, and then, if I um, even if I didn't drink, even if I didn't have a beer, I'd go to bed. And so, oh, so often I would have to get up and have some antacid because of indigestion and reflux, because of reflux, like all the time, all the time, you know. At work, what I would do throughout the day is chew gum because the saliva would, would I don't know how, but it, it seemed to neutralise it. But when, you, when you're in bed, you know, you're not going to chew gum in bed. So uh, it was just, you know, and especially uh, you don't want to get up and you just have to because the indigestion is that bad. That is another beautiful thing. No more indigestion at all. Um, and I, I sort of understand why I was getting that indigestion because I was eating so many carbs and you can't digest that crap. So you, your stomach's working overtime to try and, you know, digest it and it's just not happening. So, no more indigestion. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, specifically, with, especially with the sleep, like, I would, and this is like, really bizarre. I would wake up with a sore back, like a really, really sore back on waking in the morning, which, that's crazy. Your body's supposed to be recuperating, and it wasn't, you know. It, I, so, obviously, the carbs were just screwing my back up. So, that's gone. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I haven't got a sore back. So, hey, that's always good, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, a couple of channels I want to... Um, not give a shout out to, but just recommend because, uh, who is it? Um, Angry Cops. <laughs> I think he's, I don't know what his real name is, but on his uniform he's got high. He, he must have been a drill sergeant, army drill sergeant, HY high. So, uh, high from Angry Cops. I think his wife's a cop or something. He's hilarious. Yeah, he does, uh, yeah. If you want to be entertained, watch Angry Cops. Number one, absolutely. The other channel, and this other channel really doesn't need any advertising whatsoever. He's got over three million subscribers. Yeah, and his name his name's Boris. Probably people out there are probably saying, "Yeah, we know who you're talking about." And the channel is called Life of Boris. But let me tell you, if you want to be entertained, yeah, again, yeah, those two channels, man, I've just been binging. I've, I've literally have been binging for the last few days on uh, Angry Cops and Life of Boris. They are absolutely gold. Like, really. Absolute gold. So, uh, that's about it. And till next time, see you later.